Well, I feel like playing some more, so I guess I'm gonna play some more. Let's check out the other side of the refugee quad. See if we can stumble into anything interesting. Hi, what's going on over here? Don't smell like a refugee. Buy the new muscle. Hey guys. Seems useful to cast. Overseer is the one we want to see. Yeah. Okay. We'll loot from those later. Where's your overseer at? I've got a lot of great experiences with overseers. I've played Fallout. Alright, locked. Just like my dreams. Why don't you go ahead and cast Force Barrier? I don't know how tough all this is going to be back here. Hey. That was a very secured door. Sequesh Personal Guard. Ah, another one of you. Hey guys, that's not awkward at all. Do I feel like using up any of my usables, like stamina and alacrity? Possibly, those last for two minutes. I don't know how long this conversation will go, though. We'll probably have to engage in it unbuffed. We'll engage in a combat unbuffed. So be it. Hey. Let's start us off on the right foot. Then maybe you ought to start bathing. You the one running this place? Why do you dislike humans so much? I'd like to talk with you about Adana. You will let Adana go. You will die anyway. My buffs! has got some pretty nice defense. 35. Yeah, maybe we should actually take off this and use some normal attacks. There we go. Jiffon took some damage there on the chin. That's alright. Got our log updated because, as it turns out, we've resolved all of the problems. The Sasuke ceremonial armor, frag grenade, and an exchange negotiator. Yeah, we negotiated all right. What is that? Go ahead and have you cast Improve Heal, and then I want you to cast Force Barrier. 
Thanks. Go ahead and give me a Knight of Valor. And you give me a Battle yeah. Meditation. Let's go. You! This is how we get noticed by the exchange, my friends. Are there any enemies this way, or is it all a trap? We can come back and loot in a bit. There is combat to be had. Oh my god, the amount of damage pouring out of every orifice! is obscene! <laughs> Alright. Adhesive grenade on a thermal shield generator. Neat. Damn Gamorians, man. They're pretty strong, but, uh, they're not the sharpest tools in the shed. Ooh. The hell am I looking at here? Hello. <laughs> Hi. Defense bonus of 12. Cool. Only thing greater than the protective capabilities of this armor is the price. That is heavy armor proficiency, of course. The only person who could wear that in our party is, uh, Handmaiden. The Met Armor, which of course Beodar is not allowed to wear. The Mandalorian Power Shield. That sounds pretty nice. We'll have to spend a video at some point. Or... I'll have to spend some time, you know, sifting through all this equipment and recalibrating things, but Jafon's a simple man with uh, simple needs, right? Just like waved, <laughs> Sif. <laughs> oh, shit, that'd be funny. Sif, like, looks up. What the? Kind of funny how no one, like, really noticed what transpired, you know? I mean, Gamorreans don't exactly have a lot of armor. They're just meaty. They got hit twice to them. What are we looking at here for a defense? Defense of 21? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Good. Components. Very nice. And a thermal detonator? Whoa! Whoa! Was that right? A thermal detonator? Is that in here? There's the thorium charges. Did I read that right? Thermal detonator. I got two of them. Nice. Nice. Even if you save on a half damage for that, that's... Still 30... No! Oh, curse you! Time to the odds. Video game? <laughs> Ah, well, I showed off what it's like to bash a container. People won't get experience for opening it, and the loot won't be as good. Ah. Oh, well. Things happen.
An immunity belt? Hmm. Neat. But what could have been in there if only I hadn't shot it open? <laughs> Oh well, alas. That'd be the kind of stuff that a, a much younger Grimmis would like load over. Like, no! It cannot be! The efficiency, everything is ruined! Ruined! Yep. So, uh, yeah. That was fun. You're the one who wanted the daughter, right? Out of curiosity. Yes. Have you? Of course. Lots of companions, like an echo. Oh. Now is not the time. Right, 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 right. Uh. What do you know of Visa's master? Maybe we should have this conversation with Hatton now. I'm actually gonna take don't do that. Let's let's appropriate a room. Okay, Kraya, you can come too. But we'll try to. I don't know whether we'll actually be able to hold this conversation or not. He doesn't really like us all that much. Not all that much. I have lowered influence with him on several occasions. Something up? Some questions for you. Alright, what did you want to know? I met someone on Nar Shaddai who says he knows you. Yeah, that's a surprise. Did he say I owed him credits too? He says you're not Atten at all, but you showed up on Nar Shaddad during the Jedi Civil War. I'm as Atten as Atten will ever be, and whoever your trusted informant is, he's right. I did show up on Nar Shaddad during the Jedi Civil War, along with a lot of other refugees. Wow, your voice escalated there really quick. Is there anything you want to tell me? No, because you're asking about it. If I wanted to tell you anything, I would have come and told you. Anything else? If you've got a problem, let's settle it right now. You know what? I helped you get off, Dragas. If I hadn't been there, you wouldn't have even gotten off the administration level. I'm trying to help you. I don't know why I'm bothering. Why are you trying to protect me? I don't know. I'm not sure I understand it half the time. I want to know where you were before you arrived on Narshida. You know what? Not once have I asked you about the Mandalorian Wars. Not once. I heard about Duxon. Everyone has. I heard about Serico, and I sure as hell know about Malachor V. What makes you think you've got the right to interrogate me on anything? You've got plenty of lives to answer for. All you Jedi do. My power gives me the right. How did you even live with yourself after Malachor? Is that why you went back to the Jedi Council? Hoping they'd kill you? Go on, let's hear it all. But Jedi don't kill, do they? At least not their prisoners. Maybe you were counting on it when you went back in chains. So you got off easy. You were exiled, brushed under the cargo ramp. Another dirty little Jedi secret. I'll tell you, all those Jedi at Malachor, they deserved it. Every last one of them. There must be some reason you believe as you do. Why? Or you weren't there. You have no idea what happened. Unless he did was there and did know what happened. Oh yeah? Shows how much you know. Maybe you're wrong about a lot of other things too. <sighs> Binary option here, folks. <laughs> we could... 
I don't feel like Jafon would say either of these things, but I have to pick one of them since we're in this conversation. No one deserved what happened at Malachor. How you can you say those Jedi deserve to die? I think Jafon, if I have to pick, gun to my head. Unless I just close this game and we never have this conversation. I all control delete. What the hell did you say? Shows how much I know. Maybe I'm wrong about a lot of other things. If you want to die, keep talking. Go ahead and try. I might be a little more than you can handle, but I expect that kind of arrogance from a Jedi. Whatever, just leave me alone. I don't know why I'm wasting my time with you anyway. No, 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 no. I want to know about your past, especially if we're traveling together. Yeah, well, maybe it's better that way. I'm not a sharing kind of guy. That's what I expected. All right. What did you want to know? And's not going to open up to us unless we butter him up. And, uh, well... <laughs> I haven't been this playthrough, <laughs> so that's not a surprise. That's adamantly what I expected. Ah, well. I had, didn't think I'd get this far in the damn playthrough, let alone, like, bring him here. Funny how things work sometimes. Yes, have you come? I might have to ask her on the ship. Or we might not be at the sufficient threshold, or she might ping me when I am. I honestly don't know. Anyway, hi. I didn't click, it just went right through her dialogue. Thank you so much for returning my Adana to me. Yeah. You're welcome. I haven't even seen her, I don't know what she looks like. Well, I returned her. She's returned the day is saved. Hi, Yusuf. Thanks for taking care of Sakwesh. I fear what the exchange might do next, though. Anything else? You've already helped us greatly. Life should start improving for us. Great. Cheer up. If I talk to you again, will you still say the same thing? Back again? Is there anything I can do for you? Not today, I'll be going now. I don't think Jafon cares that much. Well, that's a refugee sector resolved. We've done it. The day is saved. <laughs> but there's one guy we left behind. Now, the idea of, like, leaving a survivor to tell you what happened... Tell her what happened... Sounds apparently like what the Sith would do. And Jafon's not Sith. There are refugees who can share the story about what happened. There you go. Take a nap, champ. We've aggroed the exchange. Everything's great. Have a nice day, everyone. It's a considerable walk to get out of here. Not so much anymore, though. Make our turn. Yes. Let's see. Three bricks of spice out to Elysia, then with a the turnaround. Um, no, no, that won't work. Ah, uh, come act. Here so soon? I wasn't expecting you for. Uh, well, not now. Anyway, the genius shall be known to Rowage if we manage to touch to the next of the runs about the Ponsacle. Yeah, well, I, uh, <laughs> I tried to explain that, you see, but, um. We could allow more sooner, Nicholas. Fingertha and Rakta shows that the genius shall be known to Rowage if we manage to touch to the next of the runs about the Ponsacle. I had no choice. These, uh, these thugs showed up, and, uh, they said that you could go spice yourselves. And uh, I was like, no, no, this is the Red Eclipse, and... Uh... 
it has occurred to you that it may be unwise to leave the Ebonhawk unattended at the landing pad for too long. Krello had warned you that another ship was scheduled to dock there. Well, guys, you heard the GM. <laughs> Let's go. Let's save the game first. Alright, good. I'm going the right way. I do like how you can see the droid working in the background in that cutscene. There's also this guy, like, puffing his fist. Alright. Neat. Uh you, you guys do realize that you're not living through this, right? I hear you. I don't think they realize everyone. Alright. I mean, you could have paid this guy five credits, and he would have told you about what the hell was gonna happen. Dude, you got some stones. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> I guess he's seen some shit, you know? Slavers. Slavers. Pathetic. Where the hell's Handmaiden and V's at? Beodor and T3 to come storming out of this damn ship. Don't tell me my droid got kidnapped again. Ah, Christ. This always happens. You guys aren't even worth that much experience. 200? Come on, man. Strength package? Okay. Well. No. Who the hell are you? I mean, you folks all made life choices. I do want to note, by the way, that I do consider this an aggravation. Like, the enemies get 90 million dudes, but I don't get my other members of my party to assist here as allies and companions. We did leave four other people on the ship. You can certainly program the enemies in just fine. This ship wasn't unintended. We had, like, a sieve, a seer. We had, like, the last of the handmaidens. We had a dude with a repulsor arm and an astromech droid. We couldn't achieve a Christmas miracle with all this? Apparently not. What? No. No, you're being dumb. And I'm not gonna let you be dumb. What where that came from? Is there at and I don't think you got that over there. Freya's gonna go down soon too. But Atten is resilient. And so long as he's not the last party member left standing, he can pick his ass back up. Just storms off to go get himself in trouble. Hmm. 
Could you maybe not stand there? No? Thank you. Let's wait for the round to end so that you can perform the seance as required. Adam gets back up. Actually, useful combatant to have for this, since he'll pick himself back up. We just deflected that. That's pretty cool. I mean, I suppose Visa did take out my entire crew whenever she was just sitting there alone in the starboard dormitory, right? So I suppose an entire f armada of Red Eclipse slavers. No surprises there. All these damn people who want my ship, man. You guys need to let it go. Atten just immediately stands back up. It was beautiful. Hey, Kreia. Thank you for your blood. Thank you for talking about that. Then you'll join the rest of your crew as corpses. So that's why it doesn't matter whether you're trying to get that guy back your ship, because the Red Eclipse comes here, you know, has something to say about it. And this guy, who's got a name? Hey, Kreia. Hey, Atten. Glad you could join me for this. <laughs> Alright, we definitely need to be buffed for that one. Then we take care of some stragglers here. It's cool to have people shoot me that Jafan is deflected back. Returned. Awesome. Atten's fighting the good fight still. Well, I'm glad the entire crew. God, it's a pity that we ended up taking uh, the two most incompetent people, Kreia and Jafan. I don't think improved energy resistance is going to save Christmas. We could stay out of combat, regenerate, we could heal up. We could use our little stim booster things. Or we come in and take the glory from Jif from. <laughs> Just there, getting up, stabbing, falling down, getting up, stabbing, falling down. And everything's fine again. You all are back. Do you have any explanation for what transpired? No, you don't. No explanation. Were you all out getting drunk? Were you all fighting un unseen Red Eclipse enemies? All the bodies just vanish into the ether. Though I don't think they had any remains. Still, what the hell? This damn game. This GM, man. We got a security system! Why wasn't anyone on the turret?
These people, I tell you that. Man. Alright. <laughs> Suppose it's a fitting enough closing point for the episode. I guess. We've dealt with the Red Eclipse. Which is not the exchange. And we're in permanent blur mode, it seems like, due to what transpired there. Great. Awesome. It's everything I ever wanted in life. I'm gonna go celebrate this. Permanent Drunko Vision. Take care, everyone.